let's go to the uh, next slide in this slide we have what do you have for lunch as i am moroccan i answered with moroccan food so i have a tagine with beef lamb so b is silent lamb or goat's meat and a variety of vegetables and moroccan special spices and homemade bread the next example i have a tagine with minced meat and eggs the next example i have a tagine with fish lemon tomatoes and green olives for lunch i have moroccan couscous every friday because all moroccan people or the majority of moroccan people they have couscous every friday the next example i have a pizza for lunch and the last example i have grills or bar barbecue let's go to the next slide what do you have for dinner what do you have for dinner i have a light dinner a fruit and yogurt so yogurt is spelled in two ways you can spell it uh, write it like this or you can write it with h y o g h u r t so both of them correct i have a glass of milk and bread with chocolate so we there is an o missing chocolate so c h o c o l a t e so there is an o missing i have vegetables soup i have moroccan harira so moroccan harira it's moroccan soup i sometimes have tagine i have fish i have tea eggs with tomatoes and bread let's go to the next example in this example we changed the wh word in the previous sentences we have what now we have where where do you have english classes i have english classes online or on youtube i have english classes in a language school i have english classes at college I have English classes at university. I have English classes at home with a private teacher. I have English classes in adult center. I have English classes in England or in any country you like to say. So you see that where is the first word and we have places where I have english classes so to have english classes it means to study english let's go to the next slide now we change the wh word now we have when when do you have holidays try to repeat the question with me when do you have holidays let's see possible answers i have holidays in summer every year repeat after me i have holidays in autumn every year i have holidays in fall every year i have holidays in winter every year i have holidays in spring every year do you know why i made sentences with the seasons of the year because uh, not all people have holidays in one season so everyone uh, chooses the season he likes and he has a holiday in that season so people are different the next example i have holidays in january every year other people they may say i have holidays in may every year i have holidays in july every year i have holidays in august every year so we have the seasons and the months of the year let's continue now we change the wh word it's why why do you have a lot of books 
Let's see some possible answers. I have a lot of books because I like reading. I have a lot of books because I love reading. I have a lot of books because I adore reading. I have a lot of books because I am keen on reading. I am keen on it means I love. I have a lot of books because I can't live without reading. Some people they can't live without reading. So reading for them is like breathing. I have a lot of books because I like to expand the scope of my knowledge. Because I want to know a lot of things. That's why I read. And that's why I have a lot of books. Let's go to the next slide. We change the WH word to who. Repeat after me. Who do you have business with? It means who do you work with? I have business with my father. Or I have business with my brothers or with my brother. I have business with my mother. I have business with my sister or my sisters. Because some people they have a business, a family business, and they work together. That's why they say I have business with my mother or my sisters. I have business with my manager. Some people they work with their managers. I have business with a partner, with the person who works with me from England. Partner is the person who works with you in a business. I have business with a partner from France. I have business with a partner from China. Let's continue. Now we changed, okay, to how many books do you have at home? Notice uh, with how many books so we don't have how plus auxiliary. This is an exception. We have how many is one word, like one word. And so always when we have how many, we need a noun in the plural form, for example, books. So how many books, then we continue. Do you have at home? How many books do you have at home? I don't have books at home. I don't have any books at home. I have just one book at home. I have five books at home. I have more than 20 books at home. I have more than 50 books at home. The last example, I have a library of books at home. Let's go to the next example. So we ask with how much, how much we don't say how do no, how much money do you have in your pocket? How much money do you have in your pocket? Repeat after me. How much money do you have in your pocket? Please don't ask. I am penniless. I am penniless means I don't have any money. Penniless. Without money. I am broke. I am penniless and I am broke. They mean the same. It means you don't have any money. So the next example. I don't have money in my pocket right now. Now I don't have money in my pocket. I don't have any money. I am speaking now. I don't have any money in my pockets now. Another person may say, may say, I have just 10 cents. Or, I have 50 cents. Or, I have 1 euro. Or, I have a euro. I have 5 euros. I have 10 euros. I have 1 dollar or I have a dollar, or I have one buck, or I have a buck. Buck means dollar. I have five dollars. I have ten dollars.